5 Fun Facts About Inception You Might Not Know Number 1. The movie's length is 2 hours and 28 minutes. It's a reference to the length of the Edith Piaf song that is used as a plot device multiple times, which is 2 minutes and 28 seconds. The deep trombones in the main theme of the score are actually the slowed down version of the trumpets in the beginning of the Edith Piaf song. As in a dream, time slows down, this shows how the trumpets would sound like to a dreamer. Number 2. Christopher Nolan not only directed, but also wrote the movie. He said that he based the roles of the Inception team on the roles used in filmmaking. This way, Cobb is the director, Eames is the actor, Ariadne is the production designer, Arthur is the producer, Saito is the studio, and Fisher is the audience. Number 3. On the third level of the dream, the photo of the young Maurice Fisher is actually a photo of Killian Murphy with glasses and a mustache. Also, this level of the dream in the snowy mountains was inspired by the movie On Her Majesty's Secret Service, Christopher Nolan's favorite of the James Bond film series. Number 4. In the beginning of the movie, when Cobb and Miles are having a conversation, Cobb says, Extradition between France and the United States is a bureaucratic nightmare. In the end of the 2002 Steven Spielberg movie, Catch Me If You Can, DiCaprio's character gets arrested in France and is later extradited to the United States. Number 5. The biggest question in the movie is probably if the last scene is a dream or reality. In a speech in 2018, at the film Four Summer Screen, this question was answered by Michael Caine himself. When I got the script of Inception, I was a bit puzzled by it, and I said to him, I said, well, I don't understand where the dream is. I said, when is it a dream and when is it reality? He said, well, when you're in the scene, it's reality. So get that. If I'm in it, it's reality. If I'm not in it, it's a dream. As Miles, Michael Caine's character was in the final scene, we can now say that it was in fact not a dream but reality. Plus one. Christopher Nolan's movies are famous for being hard to understand. To avoid confusion, television broadcasts in Japan include text in the upper left corner of the screen to make it clear for the viewers which level of the dream a specific scene takes place in. Did we miss any good fun facts about the movie? Tell us in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss any of our new videos. Thanks for watching and take care.